morning everybody happy vlogmas today today's vlogmas as you can tell is a pregnancy diaries i am literally just pulling up to my obg i have just a couple minutes i'll go in though and uh sign in because the sooner i get out of here the better because i gotta fly to work after this but um I i'm nervous today only because if you watched my lap oh those are handicapped <laughs> if you watched my last pregnancy diaries then you will know that I was dealing with something called prolapsed uterus um, you know obviously I called a doctor and got professional opinion about it but I know that they said that I definitely want to be looked at and checked out about it I feel like I'm crooked I can't even tell no I'm good um, so I'm just nervous because I know that like they're gonna have to look <laughs> look at me and um, that just always makes me super uncomfortable but I am also excited to be able to get some answers and know like is this a dangerous thing like sh what can I do about this I'm also nervous about my options so there's nothing I can do um, besides go in and hear what they have to say and hopefully it'll just be a quick appointment I can get some answers get in and out of there um, but I just want to kind of update you guys I am officially 32 weeks pregnant ah oh my goodness I'm eight months pregnant like I'm in my eighth month of pregnancy which is crazy to think that in a little over a month baby hunter is gonna be here and I'm super excited. I can't wait till this pregnancy is over, however, because I have dealt with so many medical issues <laughs> during this pregnancy and this heartburn is unreal. So I'm gonna go in. I will let you guys know how it goes, of course. Fingers crossed, everything is okay. And we can hopefully just get out of here, get to work and get on with our day, so. Mm, I'm nervous. Okay, appointment's over. Um, Excuse me while I kind of talk and get going as well because I gotta go open at work so I need to get there as soon as I possibly can. Oh my gosh, sneeze. Woo! Okay, so everything went really well. I'm up two pounds since my last doctor's appointment. I'm at 142 now, um, which is good because the last appointment I like didn't go up in weight at all um, and that can be concerning. So I am going up in weight again. I don't know if I'm going up in weight like a good amount or I should be gaining more. I'm not I'm not quite sure. I know with Ella I was about this weight. I was about like 140 something, maybe 145. So, I think I'm on the right track. Um so I expressed my concern. They just asked if, if everything was good. I asked what to do about my heartburn and I talked to the one nurse came in, took my urine sample and took my blood pressure everything looked good she was really really funny <laughs> I really liked her we had each other cracking up um and then I had another doctor come in who was also super sweet like she was one of my favorite doctors that I've met so far um but she's the one that did a exam sorry I have stuff like flying all over my car she's the one that did a vaginal exam and she, I basically told her my concern. I said, you know, two weeks ago, like maybe a couple days after my last appointment, I had noticed something was wrong. Um, I just did some Google searching because I didn't know like what else to do. I was a little concerned. The best thing that I came up with was a prolapsed uterus and I called a doctor and got some medical opinion. And they said really not to worry about it, just to have it looked at. So I explained that to her. She was totally okay with it. So they did an exam. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny because like when I was lying down with my feet on the stirrups, I'm like awkwardly laughing because I just feel really weird. And she's like, I know this is awkward for you, but like I do this all the time. Don't worry. I'm like, <laughs> like I hate it. I hate it so much. You just have to like stare at the ceiling. Um, but basically she told me that I don't have what I thought I had. It's just 
inflamed tissue. Um, and I told her, I said, my biggest concern was it getting in the way of like a normal delivery. Uh, and she said, absolutely not. Like it's normal. She said, if I notice any changes or like it seems to be getting bigger or something like that, um, to have myself checked out again. But she said there is no like real need for concern, which I'm very grateful for. You carry your baby for nine months. You want them baking for as long as possible and you just you know you want to make sure that everything goes smoothly so she definitely made me feel better i'm gonna let my mom know because she was there when i was like panicking about what was going on with my body so just to like let her know and take the concern away from her i'll shoot her a quick message um so that's basically what we talked about the other thing that they recommended me do now is do fetal movement counts where you want to feel excuse me um, 10 separate movements from your baby every two hours. If you don't feel that, then they recommend, you know, you, you call in and stuff. But Hunter is so active all the time that I'm really not worried about it. So if I, I'm sorry, my nose, I'm so gross. My nose is leaking. I'm a mess. Um, so if I happen to notice like his movements, like slow way down or I don't feel them as often I'll definitely um, pay more attention to that and call if I feel necessary but even right now he woke up literally while my feet were in the stirrups <laughs> and I'm like now like really now you're gonna wake up and he was kicking me and he's still moving so the boy's awake he's probably I'm hungry and usually when I'm hungry or I'm eating he tends to wake up so um that's what so you know I'm, I'm not there's no concern with movements or anything like that so I did schedule my next two appointments it might get a little loud because we're I'm jumping on the highway now um, I scheduled my next two appointments just because we are around the holidays so like their hours are a little different so I'm gonna see them again I'm 32 weeks now I'm gonna see them every two weeks so I'm gonna see them again when I'm 34 weeks on December 20th. So couple, literally a couple days before Christmas. And then uh, again on January 3rd. Yeah, January 3rd. Um, Cause there's a couple doctors that I still haven't met yet that they want me to become acquainted with. So that, so that will make me 34 weeks on my next appointment and then 36. So that's the time that you should be pretty much expecting more pregnancy diaries. Like we're nearing the end. I probably have like, I don't know. I, I, I like doing my pregnancy diaries when I have appointments because then I can really tell you what's going on with my body and like be brutally honest. Um, so that's really exciting. We only have a couple more pregnancy diaries to get to, but just expect, you know, again, this is 32. I'll see you again at 34 and then again at 36. And uh, once you're at 36, you're in your nine month, you're in your ninth month of pregnancy. So it's like, you're really in the home stretch at that point. Oh, it's crazy. I'm like, ah. but anyways, I'm really glad that I brought you guys for this appointment. I mean, it, it was really just me talking in the car, but <laughs> there was a lot that went on off camera because <laughs> I would have been demonetized. <laughs> but I feel a lot better um, getting out than I did going in. Everyone that I met today. I'm sorry, a lot of semis on the road. Everybody that I met today was super sweet and super understanding, so I'm really excited about that. Anyways, guys, that is it for our Vlogmas. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. <sighs> I'm exhausted. I want to go back to bed. I just want to thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, my God. I lost my train of thought. How am I trying to end this video? I love you guys. <laughs> I will see you soon. <laughs>